So, which series converges? And let me tell you, I came up with this question myself and I like it a lot because I'm only using LN2 and also 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, this right here has a couple different types of series. But anyway, please pause the video and think about this first. You did? You finished? Okay, cool. Let's go over them one by one. Take a look at the first one. Of course, let's put this into the summation form. N goes from 1 to infinity. Everything on top is just 1. And you see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So that's changing. That's the N. And the power is just LN2. So we have the series of 1 over N to some power. So this is actually a P series. Here is the P, which is LN2. And LN2 is approximately 0 0.693 and so on. That's less than we equal to 1. Therefore, this right here is actually a divergent P-series. So that's not the answer. B. All right. Again, let's go ahead and put this into the summation form as well. Sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the power. So we are looking at 1 over LN2. But because that 1 is on the top, right, we can actually just put this right here raised to the nth power. 1 to the nth power is just 1. So you see, inside here is just a what? A number, which is telling us that this is a geometry series. But if you look at this right here, r is 1 over ln2, and ln is again approximately 0 0.693 and so on. But if you do 1 over that, unfortunately, this is going to be bigger than or equal to 1. And technically, we should look at the absolute value of r. But anyway, though, this is greater than or equal to 1. Therefore, this right here actually diverges. It's a divergent geometry series. I should have put down the less than or equal to 1 in black because this is like the indicator number just like this. Okay, C. Everything on top is LN2, so okay. So here we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity, LN2 on the top over 1, 2, 3, 4 on the bottom, which is n. But notice this is just LN2 times the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n, namely, this is the harmonic series, right? LN2 times the harmonic series, which we know diverges, still going to be diverges. Yeah, so still divergent. Now, D, this right here, it's the series as n goes from 1 to infinity. We have LN2 and then raised to the nth power. In fact, this is a geometric series as well. This time, R is LN2. But if you take a look at the absolute value of this, this right here is less than 1. So in fact, this is the one that actually converges. Because whenever the absolute value of the R is less than 1, then that geometry series converges. And we also know that it converges to, um, well, I'll put that down at the end. So yeah. But anyway, for the last one, mm, it might be kind of crazy, but if you take a look, we can actually put a 2 in the front, we can put a 3 in the front, we can put a 4 in the front. This and that are very different. This right here means ln2 times ln2. But this right here means ln of 2 times 2. Whenever we have this right here, we can put a power in the front. But we couldn't do that right here. Anyway, if you take a look right here, we will get the series as n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over. We do have ln2 on the bottom but we will have the n right here. And in fact, this is just pretty similar to that one. We just have 1 over ln2 times the divergent harmonic series, right? So we have this. So this right here diverges as well. But anyway, d converges. And as a little bonus, I will tell you, this right here converges to the first term, which is ln2 over 1 minus the common ratio, which is also L12. Alright, so that's it.